Hey guys, in this video we went out to Osceola National Forest. We got to camp out at Camp Orva and it was an awesome experience and we hope you guys enjoy the video.
Hey guys, uh, we just woke up um, sitting outside. Slept really good. The mattresses were real nice, so it was easy to sleep pretty good. Um, first time we really slept in a loft, so it takes some getting used to climbing down a ladder. It honestly. really wasn't bad. We I slept. thought it was going to be worse, but it was not that bad. We slept with what, four of us and I'd say we were all pretty comfortable. We were pretty comfortable. Everybody else is still sleeping, so yeah. that's actually the best night of sleep I've had in a long time. Because <laughs> like, we're not at home with the dogs mm -hmm. trying to sleep with us. It wasn't hot. It was really cold. It felt really great in there. Everything so far has been pretty good here. Um, I haven't had any problems with like rowdy people or anything like that. It's mm -hmm. been real quiet and nice. The owners are super nice. They offered to take us on their, um, their new side-by-side -side last night on a night tour. So that was really nice of them, but there unfortunately was enough seats. It wasn't for enough seats us, for so. everyone, so we but just kind of hung we, uh, out here. We met them, and they're really seemed like really good people, and um, they made sure we were good to go. And they had brought a good us stay, so. everything we needed. And they have a like a helmsman who kind of like helps you with anything you need, wood, firewood, whatever you need. And they kind of get it for you, so. Um, for the price, you really can't beat everything that you get included. Yeah, the, the house is fully furnished. Like, everything in the kitchen that you'll need. Obviously, if you want certain spices or whatever, um, that's something that you'll have to get for yourself. But... There's, like, pots and pans. There's... Um, there's all the cooking utensils that you need. Um, there's this a stove. This is called the Shanty Shack. Um... It has like a bathroom in it. It's got two lofts, two small lofts that you can sleep in. Um, it's got like a futon that folds out to a bed that someone can sleep on. It has a bathroom. It doesn't have a shower, but if you look over here, they have these portable shower things. Um, and they're really nice. Um, and they got bathrooms and everything you need. So you can shower. The water was hot, so can't complain there either. Yeah. Um, and they were super, the owners are super nice. Like they said that they don't have anybody renting this place out until what, Monday, mm -hmm. Tuesday. So they offered us another night. It would definitely night. be perfect for a family, like two parents and- Two children, two three children. children. Three children. You'd probably even work it for four children if yeah. they're smaller. But honestly, sure. it'd be a, we would recommend this place. We'll probably come back out here again and try out one of the other rentals that they have because they have some other rentals out here and they're pretty cool. And um, there, are, there's a, a bigger house than this and then there's a two-story. Um, and I really want to stay in the two-story with like the family and stuff. Yeah, so if you guys just stay with us and uh, subscribe, we'll eventually get to those and then you guys can see it for yourself. We want to start doing reviews and stuff like this more often. So if you guys know anybody who wants us to do that, just let us know. You can contact us with our email. It's livingontravel296 at gmail.com. Private message us on Instagram or however is easiest Comment for you. Comment on our you. YouTube video. But we want to start reviewing places and stuff like that. It's kind of the whole kind of point of the channel is to just, you know, travel around, visit new places, stay at cool places. Um, trail ride the whole point of the channel so this was a cool experience to actually be able to start getting into this side of the channel so but we hope you guys enjoy this kind of content and if you do just like subscribe and follow all our social media they also offer rv camping they have like power hookups and everything so that's another option if you guys have you know mm -hmm. rvs or campers i'm not sure what the rates are but it shouldn't be it shouldn't expensive be too at all. much so, we, we paid $42. $42 to stay here, and I would say it is well worth the $40. Yeah, you can't even get, you can't even get a hotel or an Airbnb mm -hmm. normally for like that. It'd be like over $100, so. We spent $20 on a campsite, and that just was one tent, of the worst experiences of our lives. <laughs> we just had some rowdy neighbors, and they kind of kept us up all night, so. But super quiet out here. Overall, pretty good experience. Oh, yeah. Definitely will be back.
guys so i'm gonna do um the last little tour of the house um the shanty shack that we stayed in um so first when you walk in the door you walk right into like the kitchen and then there's this little table the fridge i think there's things i have to get out of here but a very decent sized fridge sink all of your kitchen utensils that you will need coffee pots pans plates bowls pretty much anything that you'll need for a very comfortable stay here and then this futon turns into obviously a bed then we have different kinds of board games and the tv there's this for extra seating if you need it um, cute little bathroom and then this is kind of just like a closet. We hung the towels up in here. And then up in the loft, both of these ladders come down. And then there is a queen size bed on this side. And then there is a full size mattress on that side. So overall, I would say the four of us fit very comfortable in here last night. It stayed really cool in here and we really enjoyed the stay. So I think if you're interested and you do want to visit the Osceola National Forest, I do think that this would be a great option for a small family, a couple, really just anybody wanting to stay out here and it's budget friendly. Um, and like I said, everything is furnished. Like I said, there is bigger houses Behind this, there's one that's a little bit bigger and then the two-story house. Um, so you just wanna contact them and see when those are available to rent. Other than that, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you could, please hit that notification bell and subscribe as well. Um, please follow all our social medias and that way you could stay up to date with everything we do. We hope to do more content like this, reviewing um, places we travel to and just showing you guys places that you could visit as well.